a YouTube today I'm going to be showing you something which probably not many of you will need but those of you that do will find interesting and important which is how to upload, download, view and edit things in an FTP server using WinSCP 5 which is completely free software no viruses, no nothing, really easy to use, works almost exactly the same as Windows Explorer and I'm going to show you how to use it. Right, so let's get started. first thing you're going to need to do is click on the link in the description which will take you to this page which is as it's here the official um, download page which is not very difficult you've got like stuff there and the thing you need is this installation package it's not a very large file but it's very popular so we do is just click on it it'll come up with this page and it should eventually start downloading your file eventually there we go right let's just save the file and as you can see mine's is 5.1.3 except mine's got a bracket on because here I installed an update for it, then I installed it for the sake of this tutorial because it makes it a lot better and easier. And you can see exactly how it works. Right, so once it's downloaded, uh, click on it and start it running or depending on what you use. Make sure you're an administrator and if you're not, then follow my command prompt tutorial and it'll tell you how. Right, so make sure you select your language. For me it's English. Obviously. Right, then this comes up. Let's click next. Agree. If you particularly want to read them then have fun with that. If not, don't bother. Just agree and click next. Click custom because you can make sure uh, you don't need the key gen. Next, click next, and with this stuff, leave it exactly as it is. Unless if you want to install it for just you, click on that one, and I use, and then if make sure that's ticked because it will then install the updates for it when they are released right now this bit this is the very important bit now with this this is choosing what, how you want it laid out and me I use this because I know Windows Explorer keyboard shortcuts really easily they're not very difficult whereas with this one it uses like Norton Commander Total Commander, Midnight Commander etc and I have I don't even think I've ever used those and it has local and remote which is really useful but you can't get it on this but I'll show you later how to actually download and upload files to it really easily it's literally a keyboard shortcut to download anyway upload is drag and drop even easier let's click next that's it's just an overview, click install it's normally quite quick right, and as you'll see here I've got the keyboard shortcut right uh, if you want to donate then donate if not don't click those links um, you don't need that box ticked just launch it Right, now let's get onto this, which is setup and configuring. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to use just 
this is what I use to test software, which is how I came about this, checking it connected to this, which is not that. The IP, the um, FTP host IP is in fact this. FTP FTP dot secure FTP hyphen test dot com. It's really easy. You can't upload things to it because it's only as a test, and there's no point. You can just download stuff, which I'm going to show you for the sake of this. It's really easy. You can just use it as a test. The username is test and password test. Port 21, because that's what FTP uses. Um, you can leave account blank. And if you want to save it, so you reuse it, it'll save it in stored sessions. If not, just click login. Uh, I'm going to save it, and it'll come up as a name. Uh, you can leave it as it is, or just use test connection. Save password means if you click it, you ha you don't have to put the password with this with it unticked. You do. I'm going to save it because I'm the only one that uses my laptop because it's mine. Just click OK and it comes up here under stored sessions as test connection. Just click it. If you hover over it, it says FTP secure and you can edit. You can edit them instantly. You just have to resave it and save it as the same name. We'll just override it. What you do is you click login. If it connects, you get this long list of things and then the window itself. This is what is in the test uh, server. It really isn't. There's very little in there. It's just designed almost as a ping. So you can see it, and I can show you how it works. So the next thing you need to do is it is you can just play around. It's all exactly the same. You can go back using all back. Just click to open arrow keys, move things. It really isn't very difficult. Now what I'm next going to show you is how to download a file. Now, because I don't need XMLs are quite large, I'm just going to use these two text documents. So all you have to do is to copy them. Just if you want to download them onto your computer, just hit Control and C, just like normal copying. Then this box comes up. Now all you do is click Browse. Say where you want to put it. Now for the sake of this, I'm going to put it on my desktop. Just click OK. And to make it go even faster, untick that box. Because if you're using large files, that takes can take the same amount of time as downloading. It takes ages. So that's why I turn it off. It says here, do not calculate transfer size. Makes things go a lot quicker. It just skips calculating how long it'll take and just does it. Which, if they did on Windows Explorer copying, it, everyone would be a lot happier. So now all you have to do is just click copy. You get this box, and they go done. And I can show you here. There it is. New text document. Zero bytes. Very very easy. Now I'm going to show you with this one something you can do if you're copying multiple things at the same time which you can't just do, you can obviously just select more than one thing but say if I wanted this document and that exe file then instead of having two dialog boxes up which is difficult you can also by hitting control C and ticking this box here you can add it to the transfer queue now I'm also going to show that and turn off the calculate size and then it's still there same thing just click copy instead it comes up down here connecting bytes transferred done disappears that quick and I'm going to show you again new text document new text document two it really is really quick considering how tiny they actually are and as far as I know also they're empty yeah that's why it took that amount of time. Right, so now, once you've done all that, you can just very simply just disconnect, which you can do by going to File, Disconnect, 
or by clicking Control, Shift, and D. Which I can't do because of Camtasia. So I click Connect. Everything clears, and this dialog box comes up again. This entire software was built really easy. Anyone could use it. It's literally you just put in the type and fill everything in. Really isn't difficult. All right, that's it. Remember to like us for more tutorials on go away, our Facebook here at facebook.com/slash/wsdproductions. And remember also, brand new, to follow us on Twitter. This is here at WSD Productions. And also, just remember, we have released now full intros and outros for all our videos. If you look, intros, top right hand corner of my screen, and outro, bottom right hand corner of my screen. If you want to tell us what you think of them, don't comment in the bottom of this video. Click on them and they'll take you to their official upload page. You can comment on what you think there, like dislikes, improvements, etc. Remember to let us know because we value your opinion because ours is not always right. Most of the time, but not always. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>